Hi, I'm the Bachelor Farmer Cook, and this is Prep Class. We're starting a new series here, and that's going to be basic vegetable preparation. Now, this is how to prepare most of the vegetables that you find in some of your favorite recipes every day. So we're going to start with the one tool that you need more than anything else and a few important things you need to know about it. First of all, you need a trusty knife, one that you like, fits your hand well, fits your wrist well, and is very, very sharp. And therein lies the problem. You have to be very careful when dealing with a sharp knife. Now, I know everybody sees on television, they're all doing it real fast and real quick and vegetables flying up in the air and all that kind of... Just stop. Slow down. We are cooks. We are not chefs. So, slow down. Use a very sharp knife. Do correct decisive cuts. Do accurate cuts and you'll get the results that you want every time. Now we're going to start the vegetable preparation series with an introduction to onions. Onions are pretty much your basic staples of most of your menu food items. So let's go to the chart and take a look. We have the sweet onion, which is the best for frying. Now this onion is the one that you're going to use for your onion rings in the fryer, or if you're doing any other fryer type medley things. Now the red onion is best for eating raw, and the reason why that is is because it's very pungent and very tasty all by itself. It doesn't need cooking or flavoring. Also it has a very pretty purple color, which is why it's selected for most of your salads. Um, the white onion is the crunchiest for zing. It's good for your pico de gallo as well as for, say, um, meats and stews. Um, but mostly everybody uses the yellow onion. It's basic, all-around, standard, strong flavor. It's not as crunchy as the white, but it is as reliable. So this is the most standard one. This is the one we'll be using for our prep class examples um, on slicing. Now, the shallot is mild and subtle. It's got an odd little shape to it. And because of its mild flavor, it's usually used for oriental dishes or somewhere where a very, very subtle onion consistency but not flavor is wanted. And then finally we have the strange child of the batch, the green onion. Now the green onion is used for garnishing, extra flavoring, um, also can be used in soups and whatnot, but it kind of has a different preparation to it that's kind of, it's all its own. So in the next episode, join me. We'll go ahead and show you how we start cutting all of these up. I'll be using one onion as an example since most of these are all cut the same except for the green onions. So until then, remember, if you get it just a little wrong, we'll probably still eat it. Until then, stay out of my cooler.